Minnesota trying to bounce back. They're 0-2 to start the season. First game at home, but they're looking for that first win without Dalvin Cook. Look for number 25, Alexander Madison, number one. Listen, he's their big back. He's done it before against the Seattle defense last year. Went for over 100 yards on the ground. Big hole, Madison into the secondary. 13-yard rumble for Alexander Madison. You receive a text from Dalvin Cook saying, you know, I'm not going to be able to play in this game. You're getting the call. So what was that conversation like? Um, you know, it was just one of those things where uh, checking on him uh, throughout the week, seeing how he's doing as it got closer. Um, he just let us let us know that, you know, it was just probably smarter for him to sit this one out. Did it give you any pregame advice on game day? He was more of a... Uh, uh, the relaxed type of uh, advice uh, as you know I'm getting different uh, pressures of just kind of stepping in and filling the shoes he was just letting me know like you know that Seattle hasn't been able to stop you the last two years so there's nothing different just go out there and be you. Madison is the back to give it to him again and there he goes for another first down what a job he's turning in in relief of Dalvin Cook tonight. That was some support I really did appreciate that it wasn't more so pressure but just kind of just that hand on my shoulder that I needed to, to guide me and, and help me. You see my tactic? My tactic? So they can't tell who it is on film. If I mess up, they think it's you. We're in this together. <laughs> you went from 22 snaps in the first two games to 32 touches in one contest. As the game was unfolding, did you feel like it was going to be a career game? Um, I didn't really think about it. Um, it was just one of those things where uh, after a drive, you know, you have some s success on a drive and then you come back and it's like, all right, let's get back after them. Let's, let's get at it again, you know, and that same conversation every time we get back in that huddle. And uh, yeah, I didn't really think about it much. Um, at one point in the game, Dalvin was like, I'm going to go check this uh, stat sheet and see how you're doing. And that was probably like in the fourth quarter. So that's really the, the first time I even thought about what the stats were looking like. He's got your back, right? Yeah, yeah. He's got your back. You matched your career rushing record, I mean, to a T against Seattle mm -hmm. again. And this is with eight or more men in the box over 59% of the time. I'm not sure if you knew that, but but did you feel like that pressure or those guys were right in your face? Uh, yeah, yeah, I could tell that they were kind of trying to stop the run and, um, you know, the way they played it, it, it was definitely a, a lot harder to get those yards than uh, the way some other defensive structures might be. Um, but, you know, it was a challenge that we were all up for and uh, we got the job done. Do you look at it as a challenge or is it like a respect, like chip on your shoulder when you see that front? A little bit of both. Uh, definitely is like a, a, a respect thing, just understanding that they, they feel that threat of the run game. Um, but at the same time, just being able to challenge ourselves and uh, make the right blocks, make the right reads, make the right cuts and, and be successful when they do line up like that. Career high 59 yards in the air as well. What makes you so good in the screen game? It's a nice screen left first down. Here comes Madison 40, 45, 50. Alexander Madison to the 43. Really, uh, I, I you know got to give credit to Clint on dialing him up um, on those on those plays. It was it was wide open and uh, the O line blocking down the field was a big help. Uh, I definitely think that I, I missed some some cuts on those screens. So uh, I appreciate the the yeah, fact that you know. You seem that, a little you know, frustrated about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. For me, for me, you know, it, it might look good uh, on paper or on film or whatever. But for me, like analyzing my game, I, I definitely left some yards out there on those. So I'm just going to continue to try and get better at it and uh, be even better in, in the screen game. Yeah, as an athlete, I know the motivation is there when you see something that you could have done better and keep mm -hmm. it going. And I know you may not have gotten get as many calls as a starter because of Dalvin Cook, but when you see those moments on tape, do you get that kind of thirst? Like, okay, I want more. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You want to. Uh, you, you can't take it back. You can't get those ones back. So uh, you can only go forward. So it just makes you hungry for the next opportunity uh, to read it different, see it different, and uh, uh, act on those. Uh, decisions that you might not have made before but that you know that are potential uh, for future success so yeah that's, that's definitely uh, some hunger lingering.